Hi, so here we are with almost $1,000 of products. The question is, what's the difference among these four La Mer face creams? And which one is the best purchase? I think it's meaningful because these products are so expensive. I have purchased some La Mer travel sets. At the same time, I also received some free samples. I try to compare the products to use these products and to really experience as a consumer the difference between these products and these four are the most similar. I will reveal my favorite at the end of the video, together with my final thoughts. So the four creams I will compare today are the Moisturizing Soft Lotion, Moisturizing Matte Lotion, the traditional Creme de la Mer Moisturizing Cream, and Moisturizing Soft Cream. All of these creams are all white creams. The difference are slight variation in texture. Since I have just opened this sample, uh, now it's the right time to show all the products and I'll show you the texture on my arm. So let's start. This is the most fluid, let's say, but these are actually quite comparable. So this is the matte lotion. So we have the matte lotion here until this small. Uh, this is very lightweight. You see, you have a veil of moisture. And to be honest, I haven't felt a powdery finish, you know, with that matte term in uh, yeah, the name of this product. I would expect a powdery effect, that a mattifying effect but not really honestly let me say that all of these creams for me are occlusives so they are one of the last steps in my skincare routine i need a vitamin serum before these creams so for me these are not replacing a vitamin serum so i see these creams not as a replacement of the serum, uh, not anti-aging as themselves, but I see these creams as an elegant occlusive that I can put after the layer of vitamins. And this is the way I see these creams. I don't see these creams as anti-aging themselves, but I can justify their presence in my skincare routine as an elegant last step, because sometimes occlusive can be too heavy, while uh, with these creams I find that are very well formulated. I don't expect a miracle on my skin. I rely on scientific-based serums underneath this cream for the anti-aging or well-aging effect so you have seen the matte and uh, the matte lotion and yeah it's completely invisible now even not tacky at all very elegant so it's quite a unique texture uh, very intriguing i mean if you want something like a layer of hydration that's almost invisible not detectable you don't like moisturizer then this could be an option then the moisturizing soft lotion i will put it just right here uh, and I, I don't know you can if you can tell that there's a, a light glow in the matte version so let's put this underneath so this is one of my favorite consistencies glowy very nice to spread tastes glowier than the matte version but I, I don't I, I don't want to tell that the matte version is really matte so it is it's just a lighter thickness this is a bit thicker you can detect on the skin but very fluid so this for me is the main difference between these two products this is my ideal summer moisturizer honestly then we have the soft cream with the soft cream, you have a tad more thickness. And you get always that Nivea scent with the, these creams. The, the scent is identical. And finally, 
the creme de la mer, that is the thicker consistency. This was actually a great cream. And I'll tell you why it in a minute. Let's focus on the texture. So this is, yeah, the harder of the four. And you know, you see how it, it's more difficult to be spread. Yeah, it's more traditional harder cream. So these are the four Lamer creams ordered in terms of texture from the lightest cream to the thicker cream. Let's go near the window to see the textural difference on the skin. Okay, so here we have um, the matte cream. I don't think you will notice anything on the skin. It's a natural glow. Below, you can see a glowier skin. It's the soft uh, lotion, I think is called. Then you have you see increasing glowiness you have the soft cream and the, is here sorry and here you have the creme de la mer i have to say let me show you better yeah i think you can see that the glowiness is increasing the soft cream and creme de la mer give the same glowiness a tad higher than the lotion that is here while the matte version is completely invisible so i personally like the glowiness but sometimes you don't want that and you want more grip and something really undetectable so i would say that the matte cream the, the matte lotion would be a perfect primer if you are interested in something like that and the other three are almost identical in glowiness Before having a look at the ingredients, I'll talk about the comfort I get from these creams. This for me is a tad dry. It's interesting in texture, but it's not hydrating enough for my preference. Uh, for me, this was not the most comfortable because I expected something different, but it can be the perfect product if your needs are different than mine. This, the moisturizing soft lotion, is the perfect summer moisturizer because it is lightweight. I feel that hydration stays glowy, so it's what I, I expected from a moisturizing cream. And is lightweight, so for me it's perfect for summer because I don't like heavy, thicker consistencies during summer. The most comfortable for summer. This soft cream, it's the perfect balance among hydration, texture, consistency. It's not too hard like the OG La Mer cream. It's not too lightweight as the lotion that we've just seen. You have that thickness that you maybe expect from the cream, but not that difficulties in spreading the cream like this. So I would say that this soft cream is the most comfortable this comes after this for me is perfect i have to say because i still have compact skin and spreading this is not a problem for me so i like it very much and but i can recognize that for me is a tad inferior compared to the soft cream and then this is one of its kind i think it's a it's moisturizing but i haven't seen the moisture effect that i would expect and but it's very elegant to be a matte product because it is not powdery as i said before i have to say that i got great results from the traditional creme de la mer i had irritation on my eyes because i decided to try a lot of eyeshadows so what i did was try one then remove it and try one other one and then remove it yeah i didn't film that it was just for me maybe i was too aggressive in removing the eyeshadows but the result was that i got irritation and dryness on my eyes it was under eyes and uh, even on my lids and on my crease i was really peeling and it, it was scary, honestly. No cream gave me um, the hydration I wanted. So I decided to use this cream because it was the, the thickest I own, 
even thicker than my eye balm intense and it was magic i mean in three four days i solved my problem that's why i'm reconsidering this cream it is fragrance but i think it's more delicate of a fragrance compared to the nivea very similar but i think it this is less fragrance uh, despite using this on the eyes i didn't get problems uh, i know that is fragrance and i wouldn't do that maybe again i wouldn't put again this on my eye area because i'm a bit scared of putting so um, fragrance things fragrance the products on my eye areas but i was desperate that time and this was the thickest cream i had in my arsenal let's say and it, it was magic like magic i said so um i really like th this the fact of this cream that produced on me and for that reason is enough that is an experience that i had that for me is enough to make this cream worth buying so i got great results with this cream to the point that i am considering purchasing a full size of this maybe yeah not this year maybe during black friday but not the the coming one but uh, the one after that but sooner or later i will purchase a i think a full size of this this one yeah is my favorite in terms of consistency but i believe it's more common of a cream i'm i'm just uh, putting a bit more let me let me do a comparison side by side before spreading this cream so this is the soft cream so this one the moisturizing soft cream and this this one that i have on my finger is the standard og creme de la mer the scents have the same intensity i think you can detect that this one is a tad more fluid and this is a tad harder this is the og cream this is the soft cream let me put it here spread it and spread this one with another thing oh yes this is really softer but yeah I think this is, I like this the most. It's more unique in terms of texture in the sense that this consistency is harder to find and it provides, a, it sticks on the skin, provides a barrier. This is more fluid. So this, I would recommend this for more mature skin when you don't need to work, you don't want to work on your skin too much and the layer you can achieve is uh, thinner with this one this is thicker i think that you you get a point with natural lightning yeah uh, also i can really feel that this is maybe more petrolatum as more is more occlusive than this one so with the soft cream i think i wouldn't have gotten when i had that eye irritation the same occlusive effect so the same properties that i got actually with the la mer cream so this for me is still more unique i mean i live in europe so i know what an european nivea is that one it's hard to explain but it's more a body body cream it doesn't have the elegance of this one these are my thoughts so I think it's not fair to, to say that this is uh, identical to the Nivea cream. My two favorites are this for winter and this for summer. And to be totally honest, why should I buy this when I have a lot of other uh, light creams that are moisturizing? So I don't see the advantage of this, but still this as a uniqueness in the texture if i found something similar in the future i i will let you know these are my thoughts in terms of comfort of these creams so my conclusion is that now we are going to uh, check the ingredients but my conclusion in terms of texture comfort experience is that the only unique product i see here is this one and the other are somewhat dupable uh, this is another product that is not dupable 
because it's quite unique in terms of texture and really transparency on the skin is totally undetectable so maybe if you are a man i don't know that doesn't want to show i i, I know uh, my my partner is like that it doesn't want to show that he's putting creams it doesn't want to show any glowiness then this may be a product for him but still for me is a bit poor in hydration properties and for me my favorite is this one is the only one that i would consider the other ones is not so unique in the market in my opinion so in terms of ingredients These three have algae extract as a first ingredient and then we have petrolatum in all of them while this one has water as a first ingredient, the matte one, and then the algae extract. So anyway, the algae extract are the first, uh, the first ingredient here, so the highest concentration and um, the second ingredient here. And then we have that for this one, that is the matte one, we just have dimeticon and quite at the end of the list. So this is less occlusive of a product compared to these three. And it's something that I noticed also from, you know, the experience. And it has actually a bit more than just uh, algae extract. It has caffeine packed with uh, a lot of plant extracts. And it has one peptide, acetyl hexapeptide 8. Let me check this other lotion. So it is uh, also packed with a lot of extracts. So these two have the longest ingredient list and also has that hexapeptide. It does not have caffeine, this one. But I would say that these ones are quite close. In, in fact, they are, they are called lotions. And the difference is the texture feeling. This is more similar to the La Mer products, the, the La Mer creams in terms of glowiness. And this one is one of a kind because it, it is totally undetectable. They are nice if, if you want these fruit plant extract to be your actives. In my case, I want more peptides and I want vitamins. So for me, these yeah don't have a place in my routine. But if you're fine, if you want uh, only fruit extract and you're okay with fragrance and you want an elegant texture or in this case really unique texture then you th these products may be for you I mean let's be open-minded and do, do not bash products just because they have some ingredients that we don't use these other two creams are quite similar to each other they have less ingredient but this is also it has also wax I felt the wax in the consistency of this cream. This is called just Creme de la Mer, but this is called in, on the website face cream. This soft cream has a shea butter. So there's maybe a more, this is a more recent product. So there's an effort to put more natural ingredients. And there are oils in his, uh, in this and more plant extracts. And also has the exapeptide. So really the soft cream and this lotion are quite close. And it's something that I noticed. Honestly, the difference also in consistency be between these two is almost undetectable, I would say. So I would go for the cheaper of the two. They are, they're quite similar. And this is packed with, you know, petrolatum or uh, mineral oil, all kind of uh, occlusives, uh, plus that algae extract is the first um, ingredient. I don't see any of this to be a must have. This is a, um, a candidate to be a, a gift for my mother because it's perfect for age skin. And um, this, yeah, even the ingredient list is quite similar to this one. So I believe that the soft cream is still the winner because it's the cheaper. So I would go for these two personally, this for me and this for my mother and uh, but this for my partner <laughs> and um, yeah this actually yeah loses the battle <laughs> i would say so these are my detailed opinions and see you in my next video bye bye